Hi everyone. Uh, so the educational tool that I will be presenting on is called Keynote and it has been very helpful for me to create presentations and it is free for Mac users. So let's get started. You can find Keynote over here on the search tool and I've already typed in Keynote so you can just click on this. Also it can be used to create e-portfolios as well. So uh, you can just go on new document and you'll find different themes over here. Basic, minimal, bold, editorial, portfolio. So I'll just choose maybe this one, okay? And then you can go on create. Now I'll just show you a basic layout of Keynote first. So over here is the view option. You can just see your slide over here. You can see um, the outline. So outline is basically, basically over here. You, you'll get to see all your slides over here, but since I only have one slide over here, so you can't see the rest of them. You can see them over here on edit slide layouts. In case you don't like any slide, you can just click and double tap on it and you can delete it. Or you can also duplicate it and you'll have two of the same slides. So that's all. And once you're done with this, you can just click on done over here. And yeah, I'll go for the navigator one. So uh, you have uh, options to add a table to your presentation. Then you have some options for charts, 2D, 3D, and they're all in different colors, in different bar graphs, line graphs, so and pie charts as well so you can use any and then there's the interactive ones and then there's the option of text if in case you want to add text to your slides then that's there then there are different shapes um, there are plenty of options for different shapes there's education there's arts and you can obviously change the color they're not all going to be in black you can change the color according to your theme change whatever you want okay. all right then there's media there are photos, there's image gallery, you can add music, you can record audio and then in case you want to add picture to it from your uh, computer you can just click on choose and uh, I'll show you something which has been very helpful to me. So suppose this is the image that you want to add and uh, I don't want the background of it so I just want the watermelon so you can just click on the image, go on the image option and go for instant alpha and once this box thingy appears just click on the background that you don't want and tap on it and once you're done just click done so you get just the watermelon over here and in case you want to add some animation to it you can add that as well you can go for the build-in option and add, add an effect so you can go for tour so that's how your watermelon will look like when the site comes up and then there's the option of action um, in case you want to add an effect to this one as well, then there are some options for, uh, yeah, over here, there's this blink option. But this is how your watermelon will look like once the uh, slide is on display. So it's better to not have any effect for action. So you can just go here and change, go for none. And this is the build out uh, effect. Over here you can add an effect and go for something like comet or something. So this is how it will disappear from the slide. Right now, okay. So, yeah. In case you wanna add a slide number to your slide, so this is how it comes over here. This is slide number one, and then you can go back. Right. Okay. These are the different slides that you have over here, and you wanna add another slide to it. So just click on that and go for the next slide. This can be your second slide. Then add a third one. This can be your third slide. All right, okay. okay, so we're done with this, is there anything else? Yeah, in case uh, after you're done with your presentation, you don't like your theme, you can just change it after going, uh, just click on document and change theme. So you can use any other theme that you want, you can use and just press choose. So your entire theme changes and all your slides will change. You don't have to change each one of them so yeah and uh, all right so once you're done with your presentation and in case you want to send it to someone who is not a Mac owner you can just save your presentation as a PowerPoint by going on file export to and PowerPoint and in case you need your presentation to be uh, confidential you can add password to it your password, the verification, and the hint. Since I don't need uh, any password to it, I'll just ignore that. And you can go for next.
right i'll just go and check over there you can go on downloads and this is the one all right this is how it looks like now it's in the powerpoint presentation uh, uh format and not in the keynote format that's all i have for you guys thank you